Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to take EC2 instance from AWS and how to deploy any website to the EC2 instance. So earlier I have shown you how to deploy your website to AWS Elastic Beanstack through Visual Studio. I also covered how to create RDS relational database service for the SQL Server. I also showed how to address availability zones, multi -available, multiple availability zones to improve your high availability and how to delete that Aurora database. So these are the things I have shown earlier. Today I'm going to show you how to create EC2 instance and how to deploy the website to that EC2 instance. Let us just get into the EC2 panel. So sorry, AWS panel. So this is my AWS management console. If you already have account, definitely you will be able to log in. In case if you don't have account, please create a free account which comes with a lot of free features from the AWS for the 12 months. So uh, better always create the free account to, to try out uh, what are the features and to learn also. So just simply type EC2. If you don't know what is EC2 instance, EC2 instance is virtual server like you can use it for various purposes one is like uh, hosting your website or deploying your web services or deploying your microservices or devops anything like anything related to your on-premises servers that can be deployed to the cloud by using ec2 instances the other ways of deploying your website is elastic beanstack you can still use the elastic beanstack or light sail for smaller sized websites so let us just go on the create the ec2 instance which is your virtual server so you always be careful where you are creating it one of the main disadvantages with the uh, aws is you can't see what are the resources or instances created by you until you select that particular location for example now i created one instance under the ohio but i if i'm under the mumbai you can't see that so probably you might have created the instances in various locations and you forget but at the end of the day or at, a, at the end of the month you will get the bill that's why you keep monitoring where you are creating and make sure that you are deleting the resources which you are going to create so don't forget to delete those instances if it is for your personal purpose so let us come back so now i have running instances zero nothing running everything is zero except security group one that is also default security group which is which might be coming from the aws now what we are going to do is create the new ac2 instance so scroll down you can see launch instance click on the launch instance Here there are plenty of uh, different operating systems or plenty of images. So these are preloaded virtual servers with uh, or like Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Amazon Linux AMI or Amazon Linux 2 AMI. So based on the different flavors of the uh, Linux, they are uh, listed here based on your requirement you can select whether you want to go with the red hat or you want to go with the windows or you can also see here are you launching a database instance try amazon rds and they have some options on it so i'm going to take microsoft windows server 2019 base select that so if you want with containers you have to go with the other server so again check whether that particular one is eligible for the free tier or not if it is not eligible you are going to pay though it, your account is free right so i'm going to select this and under the general purpose again you can check here whether you are under the free tier or paid so you can see free tier eligible and it is under under the general purpose there are different uh, type of instance types you can see here under the filter so currently it is listed down with the general purpose if you go page by page you can see different uh, instance types but if you want to select compute compute optimized or gpu instances or memory optimized storage optimized these are various uh, types of instances based on your requirement you can go ahead if, in case if you have uh, uh, gpu based uh, computing requirement then you can go ahead with this one right it's like computing in intensive uh, cpu or something like that so currently i'm going with the general purpose and you can see what is the memory coming with that it is 1 gb 
uh, it is very less but it's fine 1 GAB sorry not GB uh, vCPU is 1 and uh, instance EBS EBS is el elastic block storage uh, network performance low to moderate all this so I'm fine with that as long as it is coming for free so review and launch so either you can go directly to the review and launch or you, you could have selected all this choose instance type uh, after the uh, configure instance let me show you what that shows so configure instance if you want to configure how many instances you want uh, launch into auto scaling group uh, vpc it's like private cloud if you want to uh, launch your instance under the private cloud not like uh, with the public ip and all those stuff you can go with this shutdown behavior is like uh, how you should behave uh, when you shut down the system whether it need to be just stopped or it should be completely terminated uh, coming to the IAM roles, you can create uh, some different uh, roles and then you can assign those roles to that particular um, uh, instance. So these are like co quite common properties you can go and understand for more than for more information you can simply click on the I. So you can also add the stories like how much if you want uh, one more volume you can add a new volume here and uh, mention the size. This is coming default I'm just taking the default parameters. You can add tags for the better tracking my instance for test okay then you can configure your security groups now currently i just opened only rdp just to remotely access in case if you have a requirement of opening for http and https you can also do that so i'll add one for http one for the uh, tcp sorry rdp so RDP port is open 3389 and port range for the HTTP is 80. So in case if you want to write a custom rules, you can also mention that only from that IP if you want to give access, especially for the RDP, then you can mention my IP and then it will automatically take. In case if you want to give any access to anybody like anywhere or if you want to define custom rules, you can define that. So for the RDP for now, I'm just taking my IP and then http i'm just giving uh, custom 00, zero so anything will be allowed uh, let us go for the next one that is a review and then launch so this is uh, what uh, you have already selected then go ahead launch so if you don't have a key pay you can go ahead and uh, create new if you already have please select uh, i already have proceed without a key pair or uh, create a choose an existing key pair i don't have any so i'm just creating a key pair here um, and then download the key pair so let it be okay launch instance so it will take few seconds few, few seconds it to, to create so your instances are now launching view instances so it will now after it show the message at least it will take a couple of minutes to get it ready until that you will see the instance state as a pending so let is let it create so after a couple of minutes my instances instance is running now and uh, you can see your public ip and your status checks monitoring everything all the details below you can just scroll down and see so i mainly need the ip address and I also need connect so these are the two important things to connect to your Windows instance so you can also get a Windows password just simply click on the Windows password then you can go to the remote desktop so choose your file or you can copy and paste so I have already downloaded if you remember this is the one just open So copy this entire key and paste it here. So you will get the decrypt password. Here is your admin uh, username and uh, password. Just copy your password. And your username is administrator. No problem. Close it. Now open your remote desktop on your system. So 
I need this IP as well from your instance copy so I'm going with the more choices my username is administrator and password is this So we are remotely logging into the Windows PC, which we have configured through the EC2. So it will take a couple of minutes as we are first time logging in, as it need to set up all the personalized settings and uh, other configurations. Let us just wait for it. So you can see we logged in into the Windows PC. Now you will need to configure your IAS machine. Uh, I will cover that how to configure your IAS and how to install, uh, how to deploy your website uh, into this EC2 instance in the next episode. Thanks for watching my videos.